Let me talk about this offering and then we pray. There is something the old man has mentioned here. First of all, when this young man came in, I thought uh, he was related to this young lady here. Only to realize that they are not related. He said, whatever they wanted to do to you, because of the nature of the heart, they could not do to you when they are sober. It is until they take liquor so that they come and tell you that I'm sorry I was under the influence of liquor. Now you compromise and you take it with ease not knowing that what he told you it is something that had been devised in the heart. It had been planned. Listen to me, Church of Christ. Stop seeing things and receiving them at first value. I don't want to call this an offering. I don't receive offering to the people I don't preach to. Even those who send me offering on the online, they send offering after they have had me. And and it is a character I have taught this church. Before you give your offering, talk to it. The same happens to the Wagangas. The Bible talks about a beggar at the gates of the beautiful gate of the temple. He used to stay at the gate to receive the alms. People used to be the Pharisees used to be not because they loved him but they feared to be seen as Pharisees who did not give to the poor but look here what was given at the gate is what was supposed to be given in the treasury so it affected the development of the church there is something I spoke here we host God here there are people here who can testify we have been graced of God we just say it as well and that is how it is established this altar speaks now if it is speaking it is challenging other altars so the enemy can devise a weapon to fight this altar hallelujah this one will not be considered as an offering I will tell you the reason why later this gentleman here is not a drunkard but he is drunk you heard him, you saw him he is drunk but the spirit of the Lord is revealing to me is not a dranger. Father, I speak to this offering as a point of conduct. Whichever direction this gentleman has been sent from to affect the development of this church through treasury. I paralyze any given idea from the pit of hell against this church. I remember your power now in the name of Jesus. I speak fire in the camp of the enemy. We come in one way but we scattered in seven ways and according to this gentleman I take this man as a point of conflict and Lord I speak enmity between him and the enemy between him and the one who sent him between him and the devil to make the realm of the spirit I planted the seed of righteousness and convert this young man for the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I see the camp of the enemy. There is restlessness. There is disorder. 
inawanyika there is warfare kuna mvita god whatever intention could be bana hiyo chochote ambacho kimeandaliwa imeandaribiwa the account of this church is safe asina ya kanisa hii imehakikishiwa the treasure of this church is safe asina ya kanisa hii iko na usalama this people's finances are safe fedha za watu hao zimelindwa instead i bless their hearts ninabariki mikono yao go and make profit enda tengeneza faida go and make money enda mtengeneze pesa the devourer is rebuked maribifu amekemewa in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu amen 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 that one is prophetic hiyo ni ya kinabii Stand up on your feet. Smoke kwa miguu yako. Take your offering. Chukua sadaka yako. Speak to it. Inene. In your own language. If you feel your neighbor is hearing you, speak to that offering. Tell it what you want. Sikia jirani yako na kusikia. Tumia lugha unayoelewa. Nenea, 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 nenea hiyo sadaka. Tell it serious things. Yaambia mambo ambayo ni makubwa. Don't talk about rent. Wacha kuongea mtu ya mama dogo dogo kama rent is not a serious thing. Sio kitu ambayo ni ya ni ya. Don't talk about cloth. Usiongee juu ya nguo. It is not a serious thing. Sio the offering speaks sadaka tell it seriously iambie mambo mapele kwa wazee wangu iambie kinyo he has said he has given us a way by which we can test it ametupatia nafasi ya kuweza kumjaribu through giving kupitia kwa matoleo through tithing kupitia kwa kufungu la 10 take time speak to offering chukua sadaka na kufungu la 10 lakini how is i had a serious person in here kwa na mtu mbaya amewajibika kwa kanisa kneel down if you want unaweza kama wote ukitaka can fly on the floor if you want unaweza lala kitali chali kwa stand up on your feet if you want simama kwa miguu ukitaka but speak to offering lakini mungu kwa watoto wako Mungu Mungu kwa ndoa yako. Fear of God in every aspect of your life. katika upeo wote wa maisha. Fear of God in your heart. Umefumu katika moyo wako. Tell it God. Ila mwazo. Tell it God. Mwambie Mungu. Even concerning the word of God to me. Hata kuhusiana kwa neno la Mungu leo hii. I charge my offering. Ninaikuambatia kwa newness of spirit. Katika upya wa roho. Get me a clean heart. Niumbie moyo mpya. And renew a right spirit. Na uweke upya moyo. I want to reason together with you. Nataka kusemezana na wewe. I want to go the Lord's way. Nataka kuenena njia za Mungu. Remove struggles of my way. Ndoa kungangana katika njia za Mungu. Begin to the steps of my life. Nataka kumlisha hatua ya miguu yangu. That I may please you my walk. Ili nikaweze kukupendeza. Bless this kibanda of God. Bariki kipanga hiki. Bless this big big. Bariki hii moto saiko. Let it make profit of God. Wacha ikatengeneze faida leo. Bless this chua kali. Bariki hii chua kali. Command me Amrisha wako command customers Amrisha kutoka come my way wakaje bless this house galiz bariki kali nyumba hii yes i'm a house guy ndio mimi ni kichakazi god bless me lakini mungu ni bariki oh bless me lord ni bariki bwana bless this ministry bariki huduma hii by this offering kwa sadaka hii in jesus name in kwa tika jina yesu And again father in the name of Jesus. Tena baba katika jina la Yesu. As the priest on this altar. Kama kwani kwa madhabahu haya. I receive this tithe. Napokea fungu la 10 hili. I receive this offering. Napokea sadaka hii. With a heart of gratitude. Kwa moyo wa furaha. And Lord I bless them. Na Mungu nabariki. You have never blessed a man. Haujai bariki mtu. And let him remain the same. Na kwa moja akabakia vile. Your word says. Neno lako linasema. The blessings of the Lord. Balaka ya sabwana. Make it rich. Inafanya mtajiri. And they add no sorrow. Na sileti majuto. I rebuke sorrow. Ninakemea majuto. In their life in Jesus. Kwa maisha yako katika jina la Yesu. Throughout this week of God. Juma hii lote bwana. I pray for them. Ninaomba waombea. And tell them. Na nawaambia. The things that follow up on other people's children mambo yanayofuata watoto wa watu wengine shall not find them aitawapata shall not see you aitakuona shall not see you aitakuona because you are loved of god kwa sababu umependwa na mungu you have found favor in your giving umepata kibari kwa kutoa kwako in the presence of god katika uwepo wa mungu you have been justified umeakubaliwa in the presence of god kwa uwepo wa mungu after this justification na baada ya kuwekwa kwake huko god has glorified you mungu amekutukuza go in peace waenda na uamani for it is well with you kwa sababu Shalom. Shalom.